Hi, I'm Rodney Miller. And I'm Jan Carl. Thanks for choosing to watch this clip from our Small Town Big Deal YouTube channel. For full episodes, go to our website, smalltownbigdeal.com. Now, enjoy the video. Scottsboro, Alabama is a quaint little town about 45 minutes outside of Huntsville. It's your all-American southern town. But what put Scottsboro on the map, believe it or not, was a retail store. Ever lose a bag on a flight and wonder, where did it go? Well, chances are it ended up here at the unclaimed baggage store. It's a 40,000 square foot store that encompasses every department imaginable, from iPads to beauty supplies. The unclaimed baggage store has it all. Brenda, this is like the coolest place ever. That's music to my ears. <laughs> Tell us a little bit about the history. I mean, how did this all get started? Well, here we are, um, 44 years later after, after the business started. That surprises most people that we've been here since 1970. And at the time, Doyle Owens, who's the founder of the company, and his wife traveled up to Washington, D.C. to buy their first load of unclaimed baggage um, from a bus line. It was just really kind of on a whim. And it's the great American dream. It's th he borrowed $300 from one grandfather and a pickup truck from the other. And off they drove up there and brought back these unclaimed items. That is what I love about America. The Owens, they just had a few dollars and a dream, and look what they created. I'm thinking, this looks like it must be a lot of lost bags, but percentage-wise? And airlines return over 99.9% .9 of all checked baggage. They'll compensate those that have, you know, not been able to be reunited with their baggage. When you buy it from the airline, then it's your legal possession. So if somebody comes in here and, and they say, oh, hey, that was mine. We've heard the occasional whispering of a story where somebody might say, oh, I know who that belonged to or that was mine. But we have one documented case um, of a gentleman who came through many years ago and bought this pair of ski boots for $45 for his wife. Thought they looked great, took them back to Georgia, and she said these look really familiar, and she lifted up the tongue of the boot, and there was her maiden name <laughs> in the boot. Those were her boots. They have everything from bikes, tools, electronics. And if you're a shoe girl, this is paradise. You know, I wonder if they have any unclaimed vintage tractors. Hey, Jan and Rodney. I am so excited that we're getting ready to do the UBC baggage experience. I see the sign, but I'm not sure I know what it means. <laughs> well, every day we unpack so many different suitcases, and that's how we get the items to sell in our store. And so once a day, we invite our guests to come in and partake in this activity with us, and you two are the lucky ones today. <laughs> oh, we got to get them all dressed up now. I know. <laughs> I'm not coordinated enough to put it on without her help. Really? I have no idea how that man gets dressed on his own. What we're going to do is you're both going to start on your bag, and you always start with the outside pockets. Okay. So let's see what we've got. I'm excited and a little apprehensive because we don't know what we're going to find. You know, when we're going through this, obviously there's going to be a story to tell. What journey has this bag been on? Do you need some help unzipping that bag? <laughs> there's a nice fancy zipper right there. <laughs> Woohoo! Oh, some oh, nice Sony oh, headphones. Sony headphones, those are definitely for sale. Sale, sale, absolutely. Okay. I'll pass those over okay. there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, it's definitely a keeper. Yeah. I don't know, but this person just went to the Universal Studios Hollywood Experience. They had the exclusive access pass. Very so cool. So I think they were going home from their vacation. I would think so. Oh, it's a pretty oh, cool poster. Beautiful. Oh, that is really cool. Or old coffee grounds. <laughs> <laughs> I got her good. What is the strangest or craziest thing that you guys have found in a suitcase? You know, um, probably one of the more unexpected items was a live rattlesnake. Oh my goodness. Who travels with a rattlesnake in their luggage? People from all over the country come to this store. In fact, we found a family from Alaska. Now, what did you think when you first read the description of this place? It's kind of cool because it's unexpected. You don't know exactly what you're going to find in here. Kind of treasure hunting a little bit. When we pulled mm -hmm. up, I thought I was going to probably buy my own stuff back because I've had some missing bags. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't see any of your stuff? I don't think so. What had you heard about this place? Um, just that it was an adventure, really, but like people find all kinds of cool stuff here. We just wanted to check it out for ourselves. Yeah. Have you found anything? Yeah. I actually, I found this suitcase. Oh, cool. I yeah. need a suitcase. Yes, you do. <laughs> she definitely needs one. Did you get the best one? I think I did. Oh, I did. man. Yeah. They've displayed some of the more unusual items up on the walls. 
And boy, they really make you scratch your head. Really? Who loses an eight-foot model airplane? How about a life-size paper mache Tinkerbell? And just when I thought we'd seen it all, we found the jewelry department. I, I am shocked at what people have in their checked luggage. Yes. Are you? We have jewelry from all over the world. It's very different. We get things from everywhere. <gasps> now this oh, one is 2.09 two diamond weight. Our price is $19,622. This one was appraised for $39,250. Whoa, it's a $40,000 beautiful diamond ring, but it is 50% off. I am putting uh -huh. this on. And your diamond is beautiful. Oh, Gene, it fits. Perfect. It fits. You should buy that for <laughs> I think I need to ask Rodney for a raise. It just had to fit her. Now she's going to want a raise. Because you know, diamonds are a girl's best friend. I am so excited about my suitcase. I know you are. I am. <laughs> Wait a minute, there's neck pillows. I see it. They're Come on, Jim, we gotta go. <laughs> we gotta go. That was mine, I think. After visiting the unclaimed baggage store, it's clear why the motto of Scottsboro, Alabama is someplace special. Thanks for watching this clip from Small Town Big Deal. Don't forget to click the subscribe button and be sure to click the bell so you'll be notified when we upload new videos. Also, click the like button. To see full episodes, go to www.smalltownbigdeal.com.